let's talk about a few a few different subjects which are all connected uh, business as usual 25 European companies still supplying the Russian army directly well yeah basically directly or you know through one or two sort of um, layers basically uh, once again I deeply like I'm asking you if you if you will see this sort of video uh, please read the article because obviously it goes into a lot of details and I'm, um, I'm not going to list all those um, all those companies but it's related basically to two companies for example um, some of them um, some of them um, basically work directly like Italian manufacturers um, work directly from uh, for or with um, companies that they're producing basically like boots for the army for example and then Italian um, the Cifico Compliglionese or something like that right like, or like leathers uh, by by Germany Salamander right like Salamander I'm pretty sure it's quite famous um quite famous uh, brand uh, or like shoe glue Jakob Keck Kemi right like uh, GmbH there are a lot of them um, from Italy from Germany um, actually yeah actually like a lot of them from Italy and from Germany uh, interestingly enough some um, Slovak companies as well um, some companies um, are French that are that are um, sort of supplying um, switches for the onboard control systems, uh, microchips, things like that. Um, it's a good article, really good article, and um, it's it's worth taking a look. And if you can, if you're living in in those countries, whatever it might be, because there are companies from Estonia, for example, as well. Like I'm saying, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, lots of lots of different companies. Um, Hungary, um, what's that? Like Lithuania, Austria, um, lots of the companies in in Germany once again, Poland, even um, different companies in different countries supply in Russia with some parts of like either ammunition or uh or particular components for their launching systems or rockets missiles whatever um or yeah even as as simple as supplying leather and, and glue for for boots for fuck's sake right like um if you can i would really ask you to basically um, contact uh, contact your uh, representatives um, in in your country, and ask them questions. Why the fuck companies uh, are still allowed to do business with Russia, and specifically to do business with Russian defense? Defense. It's uh, it's the air quotes defense for, with Russian army, with Russian military, because this is quite despicable, to be honest. And I don't I don't understand really how. I don't understand really. Like I understand the businesses and and that like old saying that you know. Uh, there isn't any crime that capitalists won't do for 300% of profits or something like that. But at the same time, we're talking about like really the despicable, unprovoked war, like full-blown, full-scale war, where Russia tries to destroy and completely sort of obliterate the nation of Ukraine. And if they could, they would, you know, destroy everything there. Um and and so yeah i don't understand how companies from europe from europe are continuing to do business with with these despicable pieces of shit so yeah i i really encourage you to read the article and sort of um, take a look and remember the name of of all these companies and protest boycott call people maybe even call the the the, the you know the company offices and ask what in the fuck are you doing things like that i would really i would really think that um, it it could di it could make a little bit of a difference for sure even if like 20 people would call um you know if if 20 people would call one day 50 people would call another day you know what i mean like um companies maybe would start thinking that maybe their public image will you know 
will be tarnished a little bit. Let's put it that way. So yeah, the link uh, will be in the description.